So we came up a day early to the island to uh, do a little reconnaissance on the turkeys. We knew there were turkeys on the island, but didn't know exactly where they were hanging out at. So I sent Edward on a reconnaissance mission to the runway plot, and me and Corbin went to some uh, land in Tennessee and hunted and kind of went on a scouting mission there and scouting mission turn hunting mission and we ended up killing a turkey so that was pretty cool but Edward uh, got to the runway strip and he said it was turkeys everywhere so we're super fired up for you know opening day in Missouri <laughs> Edward saw the turkeys uh, go into the woods on the east side of the runway plot. So the plan was to get in the woods with them and kind of have a more of a, a you know, a, a timber type woods experience for Laura. Uh, just something about a turkey gobbling in those woods. It just, you know, sends chills up your spine. But, you know, just turkeys did what turkeys do and didn't gobble at all. And they were... If we would have set up on the runway plot, we would have probably had turkeys all around us. We're ready. Corbin, what'd you do yesterday? Killed a turkey. <laughs> Without Mr. Edward. Without Mr. Edward. So my dad had been calling all morning and we hadn't we haven't really gotten any response or any turkeys coming. So I grabbed my box call and I just gave him a little yelp. And maybe a minute later, uh, my dad said, Look, I see two turkeys coming. Get your gun ready. So we, me and my mom got ready and whenever they came out we figured out they were Jake's. I think I might have scared him. I don't know who did it, but I think it was me. Um, <laughs> I yelled at my mom and I said, don't shoot them, they are Jake's. And yeah, that, that was not a good idea. So we went and had a little breakfast. Turkeys this morning just weren't gobbling very good at all, but uh, this airstrip plot out here, they've been hanging out there midday. Lars, he'll been on getting a turkey and we figure like, we just sit with them. It's just a matter of time before they show up, and hopefully she'll uh, she'll get one. <laughs> As we were walking out to the airstrip plot, there's a little road that runs off to the right, and Brooks stopped us and said, there, "There's one right there with some hens," and there, sure enough, was a gobbler right in the road, strutting, had a couple of hens with him. So we eased down into the woods, set up against some trees, and those turkeys made a big circle all the way around, came down at the south end of the airstrip plot and just fed their way up.
my wrist is killing me because those hands just kept like moving around. I was like, I don't wanna, they were behind him like the whole time. And I was like, if it goes past, if that shot goes past, I'm gonna hit a hand. And then like, as soon as one would walk by, then another one would come and I was like, my wrist. I was like trying to put myself in your position. And I was like, all right, right now, he's clear. As this gobbler is making his way up the runway, I'm, you know, got my arm there, my hand shaking, and I'm thinking it, it's gonna get close, and all of a sudden my Apple Watch, you know, starts vibrating, and I'm thinking, who's calling me? You were excited. So, so when I was sitting there, I thought my phone was ringing. It wasn't, it was my heart thing saying, your heart rate rose above 120 while you seem to be inactive for 10 minutes, starting at 1220. So you were fired up. <laughs> I thought my phone was ringing. It was alerting me that my heart rate like, was hey, too high. Hey, you might be dying. <laughs> Please check your heart rate. <laughs> 